This is the first time I have him out alone, really. Uh, that was the wrong lever. Come on. But are you awake? Behind the glass, he was like. My guru, uh, Donald W. Winnicott, he came up with the concept of what he called the good enough parent. And it was his effort to try and say to parents, you, you don't have to be perfect, which means somewhat self-forgiving and to know that you made mistakes. Every other parent has made mistakes because that's why the good Lord sent us children is to mess with our brains, right? <laughs> right? It's the one job we have where there's no pre-training, really. Yeah. You just have to be there and, and do it. And it's a hard job. And you, you love it, but you don't have any tests to take. You just dive in. It's an enjoyable work and, and a work in progress. Are there any mistakes you feel you made, any regrets, any moments you were like, oh, jeez. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> every day. There were thousands of things, not only that I thought I did wrong, that I did wrong. We spend the first year of a kid's life teaching them to walk and talk, and the rest of their lives telling them to shut up and sit down. <laughs> I think one time I threatened to take a hammer and smash his Wii, if that's what he's going to continue to do. I thought refrigerators had a handle on the inside so the kids could let themselves out. So I guess any the regret that I have is... Refrigerating uh, Walter? What, what regret? I have tons of regrets. Are you kidding me? I lost Nathan on the subway. We get on the platform and there's a train there. And he's running for the door. And I'm like, go ahead, go ahead. And, but that door's farther, so I'm going for this door. <laughs> he runs to that door. When he gets to the door, he changed his mind stopped and turned to go to this door. I'm standing in the car <laughs> and the doors close. I go to the next stop. Every scenario is going through my head. Is he gonna go upstairs? Is he gonna get on another train? Is he gonna go try and call me? But my, of course, my phone doesn't work in the subway. So on and on, like I'm, I'm a mess. A train comes pretty quickly and I go down and he's standing there with an old Chinese man. And, uh, thank God. You know, and I'm hugging him and squeezing like Dude, all I can say is thank God he wasn't with a Korean. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Well, exactly. <laughs> all right, Hallie. You ain't gonna be squished in there? Some of it, you do have to make mistakes. A lot of parents have children later. They've had careers where they're, they know exactly what to do and they excel at it. And then this child comes and they don't know what they're doing. Yeah. And they've, that inadequacy and all of that shows up and they don't know how to handle it. That's the thing to, to tell young parents is that it's okay. It's okay. Make little mistakes. It's all right. You're going to do that. Don't think you have to be perfect. Uh, you'll learn along with your child and it'll be just fine. My wife was eight months pregnant when we moved up to the suburbs, and we oh, okay. got a you know house with an alarm system and all this. Two mornings a week, one of us would open the door. And whoop, whoop. So, oh, so he's shit. first year of his life being being awakened like like he was on a nuclear submarine. Look at those ducks. Look at their feet. Look, buddy. Those are ducks. He's looking at everything but the ducks. My son, uh, at five or six, was having a new ridiculous meltdown about something, freaking out and screaming, and ah, and ah, and he turned away for a second, and I mouthed, shut the up, to my wife, and she laughed. Yeah. And I made the horrible mistake of going for two, Ooh. and the second one, he was like, you told me to shut the <laughs> and now, and I was like, and I turned to my wife, and she was like, <laughs> oh, look. You laughed at the first one. What? Like instant sellout. A perfect environment with no mistakes is not the way to raise a child and prepare him for life. And to be able to admit that, you know what? I'm sorry I yelled. I shouldn't have done that. I should have found a different way of talking to you. Um, 
is always a good thing to tell children. Mm -hmm. Kate, when parents come to me, and it's often a business kind of parent, and they want the bottom line, they say, but tell me one thing. Just give me the one thing, right? And you know, you just know you're with a business person when they, and I say, enjoy. Enjoy your child. Enjoy your child. And not focus so much about producing An outcome. My biggest regret ever, the moment that I that killed me was he was being bullied at camp. He was like nine years old. And I said, you gotta go, Ben. The bus is here and I told you how to handle it. You're gonna handle it and I know you'll be great. Come on. And I was a wreck because he really didn't want to go. And it was the toughest thing I ever did as a parent. To this day, years later, I told him how I felt about this, that this was the toughest moment ever as a parent. He didn't remember it. <laughs> doesn't remember being bullied, doesn't remember. So go no. That's amazing. Yeah. Buddy, how do you think this works? That's not it. That is really not it. But I just locked the wheel, so I can't push it anymore. There we go. It's not this. Hey, Hal, how does this collapse? <laughs>